Hey YouTube, how you doing? <laughs> I'm still sick at the moment, as you can probably tell from my voice and how sort of squinty I am at the moment. I just wanted to let you guys know that my vape finally arrived. <laughs> finally. I ordered this ages ago. I ordered this before my red vape that I had um, back in the beginning of uh, March. Like, at March 17th is when I ordered this. And it only just arrived yesterday, so yeah, it took its sweet ass time getting here. So that's the good news. Bad news is, pretty sure it's fake, it's not uh, an authentic Joytech. You can ordinarily tell that by, if it's real, it has an insignia here on the dial. And this one obviously does not, so yeah, pretty sure I've got a, a fake uh, Joytech there, so kind of bummed about that. But you know, then again, that's just sort of the nature of the internet, isn't it? You've just got to get something in your actual hands before you can tell what it is. So I got it from e-cigarettes for sale with the number four and yeah I wouldn't really recommend getting anything from them because you know obviously it took a really long time getting here and to got some fake product. The other problem with them as well is uh, when I first topped online and I was buying my first vape I also wanted to get some e-juice at the same time. And they only let you buy in bulk, like which is really weird. You have to buy like ten bottles of juice or something. So of the one flavor as well, you can't get ten bottles of different juice. It has to be the one flavor. So yeah, I wouldn't maybe go to them again for anything. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed out about it being fake, but I'm just glad to actually have a second vape now. So I can rotate one's charging, I can vape on another one. And yeah, I've got a 1100 Ma battery now, so I'm excited about using something that will last longer also, so that's good. Uh, I can't really compare it to a Joytech, obviously, so I have to take the vaping at face value, and that, it works perfectly fine, really, so I'm kind of happy with how it actually performs. So I'll give you a demonstration and show you how it works. I've got it set on uh, number four for the voltage right now. And yeah, clouds are pretty good. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, let's turn it up a little bit and get it to about like a 4.2 or something, shall we? Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, this is supposedly a Kanga Mini Pro Tank 2. Now, I'm not really sure how to differentiate between a fake Kanga and an authentic one. I'll have to look into that, so I'm just going to have to, at the moment, take this at face value as well. Now, I saw a video a little while ago by Grim Green, and he mentioned a bit of an issue with the Kanga Mini Pro Tank, and that was that the first couple of vapes that you have they're fine and then after that it starts to get a little bit burnt and the vapor production is reduced a little bit <clears throat> and it's because they've got some flavor wicks in there or something which apparently you need to remove and that will sort of eliminate that issue I haven't done that yet I just put the juice straight in the tank because I wanted to try it out right away but he is correct about one thing and that's the first couple of vapes are great and then after that they get a little bit burnt tasting you have to you have to take a break from it which isn't really cool I want to I want to be able to take a bunch of drags in a row, you know what I mean? So I'll have to take this apart and see what I can do about that. Um, yeah, just that was pretty much all I wanted to let you guys know was for one, my vape arrived, I can stop bitching about that. And two, that yeah, you can identify a phony Joytech by the lack of the insignia on the dial. I'm just stoked about it arriving because I've been waiting for it for so long, I thought for sure it would be here much, much sooner than this. And it got here cutting it fine because I'm moving out of here tomorrow. Um, I'm packing up all of my shit as we speak. My house is in disarray. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to be backpacking pretty soon. So if I left here, I wouldn't have even, even been able to get this redirected to a permanent address. I just would have completely blown like 42 bucks for this kit. Uh, speaking of which, the kit itself came with um, a case... It came with the Pro Tank as well, 
And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. It also said it was going to come with a um, instruction manual. Not that I necessarily need that at this point, but it didn't come with that. So there's another thing as well. It was missing some of the items. So yeah, I mean, for 42 bucks, realistically, if this is a generic um, ego battery, then I could have gotten something like this from pretty much like eBay or something, and it would have been $15, and it would have come with a different tank. But I still don't think it's worth $42 if you're getting something that isn't authentically Joytech. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. But again, yeah, I, ultimately, what are you going to do? I don't really care that much. I'm just glad I've got my second vape now. And yeah, I've got a case. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I'll be able to fit it in my backpack, but I guess it'll keep all my bits and pieces in one spot, so I should try to squish it in there. I've only got a 35 litre backpack, so it's going to be hard. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to do a Decang e-juice review. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I just wanted to get the, the new vape before I did that, because my old tank is dead at the moment. It's um, generic, can't be taken apart, can't be cleaned, and it's just burnt at the moment. So I didn't want to do the Decang review while I was using that. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that tonight, probably before I leave, because I won't really get another opportunity to make more videos again anytime soon, I suppose. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll guess how productive I'll be when I'm overseas and stuff. So, I'll let you guys go, and, uh, yeah, might uh, see you again later on tonight with my Decang review. Catch you around.